of all, we would have to give all praise and gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the one who gives authority. He is the one who takes away authority. We thank him for life and for good health. As you know, I was appointed the 14th Emir of the single Emirate of Kano in June 2014. And now I'm reappointed as the Emir of the single Emirate of Kano. Uh, in between that period, we did not have a single Emirate. We had five balkanized Emirates. And this was an injustice to the history of Kano. It was an attack on our history, on our culture, on our traditions. And it was an act of betrayal to our family. Uh, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that today the Emirate has been unified again. Its people have been brought together. That an injustice has been corrected. Because, as you know, I was dethroned on an allegation of insubordination, which was never specified. I was never given an opportunity to defend myself, but I have never spoken about it because I always assumed that when the time is up, it is up. So today I thank God that God has remained, as we know, a faithful God who stands by justice. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to my brother, His Excellency, the Governor of the State, Engineer Abu Kabir Yusuf, uh, my brother, His Excellency, the Deputy Governor, Comrade Amin Abu Salam, His Excellency, the Honorable Speaker of the House, uh, for making this possible. I would also like to express my thanks to His Excellency, the President, Al Haji Ashwaju Bala Ahmed Chinubu, uh, without whose principal stance of not non interference in the internal affairs of the state this would not have been possible. Uh, the President has shown that he is a respecter of the Constitution and the separation of powers. He recognizes that this is a purely local matter and that the government has a responsibility to do what is right for the state. And I'm aware that he has resisted all pressure to get the federal government to be involved. I would also like to express gratitude to the security services. Uh, you have been in Kano the last few days. Uh, you have seen how happy people are, but you have also seen how exemplary the police, uh, the uh, DSS and other services have been in terms of maintaining law and order. I would like to assure both the state and federal government my loyalty, collaboration, cooperation, in all matters that will further the interests of Kano and the interests of Nigeria. Uh, you can be assured that they will find in me a friend, a confident and an advisor. Uh, and we pray that this country and this state have peace and have development. Uh, there are always people who will try to cause instability, always people who will try to destabilize the system. But with the prayers to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the commitment of all of us, uh, they will not succeed. Uh, this is uh, my prayer. Uh, this is uh, for me a continuation of service that I started. It is also an opportunity God has given me to improve on my previous tenure. Uh, we all learn from our mistakes. Uh, we all remember what we did well and what we did not do so well. And it is our responsibility to improve on what we did well and to avoid those things that we did not do uh, so well. Life is a continuous learning process. Uh, I've enjoyed uh, the break of the four years. I've been grateful to God uh, for the time spent. And I thank the people of Kano for their love. I thank them for their affection. I thank all the scholars, the business community, and the political class uh, for the support they have given me. Thank you.
people first of all my my advice to people is at this point in time we need to exercise a lot of patience I'm an economist and I look at many things through the prism of economics we are at a stage um, in our national development where some decisions have had to be taken and people are going through difficult times but these difficulties are a result of many many years of bad policy so we should first of all understand that the current government is not the one that is responsible for the issues uh, but they do have to bear the burden it is now their responsibility now anybody who knows economic crisis understands that these things take two three four years to work themselves out uh, we should not expect that because we have a new government that in six months all the problems of the previous eight years will be eradicated so um, first I would urge people to be patient I would also urge them to be fair uh, I would also urge the government to understand that much as these difficulties are necessary, we have a responsibility to make them as short as possible and get out of this crisis as quickly as possible. So um, my, I think my primary role uh, will have to be to continue to offer constructive advice uh, to the government and also to the people because we need to explain to them. Sometimes people get involved in politics and propaganda, it is easy to attack a government or attack the president or blame this or blame that. But sometimes, uh, there's, with the best of intentions, there's nothing anyone can do about certain circumstances. Uh, the people of Kano have been known for their resilience. Um, I would like to continue to urge them to focus on education and skills. I would like them to, uh, in particular, pay attention to the girl child. This has always been my uh, conversation. I would like them to understand that it's very important that they uh, do not rely entirely on the government for their li livelihood people should um, try and earn uh, and, and a living um, and I hope the government will be able to create the opportunities for individuals to thrive yeah, and to add uh, this is my uh,